My name is Nassim Sabs. Let me ask you a question. Has anything ever happened to you that you couldn't explain? That made you feel sort of foolish when you tried to tell somebody about it? Well, if it has, you have plenty of company, as you'll soon see. We interrupt your regularly scheduled power-up with breaking news that zombies from Plants vs. Zombies are on the loose. We are urging people to stay calm and stay inside their homes. The Plants vs. Zombies zombies are slow, lumbering, and fall apart easily. But there are hundreds of them. All of these zombies will be making the urgh noise. We suggest stocking up on plants now if you can. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. But you know what they say, if you can't beat them, you join them. If we don't learn this thing, we can wind up in hell. You know why? Because it deceived Adam and Eve and a whole civilization. Satan's coming back with his best stuff. The lotus flower is returning back in our time. It's going to be hard for folks to recognize it, that things do season and cycle, but the book of Ecclesiastes says, ain't nothing new under the sun, which means it comes back again. And it's here. They did it before. They know what gods come out of the lotus flower. They know what they worship back in the day. And God did what? He destroyed these systems. And he's going to destroy the one they bring it up today. It ain't got no joy in it. It's hell. It's from the pit of hell. We got to talk like that. I went to Pentecostal church. I went to charismatic church. We get down like that. These are devils. Speak to them. To the almighty raw, the sun god, the sustainer of life on planet Earth. You hear this guy? Sun god, the sustainer of, of life on planet Earth. You see that? See how they do it? Listen to him. Christ, the almighty raw, the sun god, the sustainer of life on planet Earth. Good hope. But the Torah field mixes with the light. And that's where we have the greens and the blues. See, that's where all this match up. See this here? Akhenaten. That's the Akhenaten. Tenth ruler of the 18th dynasty. Akhenaten. Yeah. Bring it up. The sun god getting, is pairing up with the, the Akhenaten. It's all coming back. I never spell it right. Let me see if I can spell it right. Sun God in Akhenaten. Turn this speaker off. Sun God. You might not give it to me. Uh, Akhenaten. Here it is here. Thank God it's in my history. This is the beast you got to look for. This is the beast. He was the 10th ruler of the 18th dynasty. Is 1018 familiar? Like Luke 1018? You think that's coincidence? Who is Akhenaten? That's this devil here. This is what's back. He's coming back with the sun god. You understand what I'm saying? That's them. They're all parallel. They're all together. They worship the sun, people. And we got people worshiping these demons today, thinking that they're the ones, especially my people. Not all of them. I don't want to hear it. Some of my people think that the son is the best way to go as opposed to Jesus Christ because they're saying, oh, you indoctrinated Pearson with the white man's religion. Look, you're going to get it straight on, 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 my, on my channel. I'm going to tell you how people think in the street because that's the talk in the street. Oh, uh, Pearson, you you following Christianity. That's the white man's religion. Them blue-eyed 
uh, long-haired uh, guys. Our God is is Akhenaten. We 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 from Egypt. That's our God, the sun God. No, those are idols. That's idol worship. That's what destroyed our country. That's what destroyed our civilization. God said, I will have no other God before me. And he will spew you out of your mouth. And that's any culture. Blacks had to learn the hard way. And now we got these generational curses. Because this is the, these are the nuts. These are the forced gods that we used to worship back in the day. A lot of us black people. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go hard today. Because I want you saved. I ain't got time to play with you. These are false idols. And they're bringing them back. And like I said, we weren't the other. We weren't the old, we, we weren't the only culture that did this. So don't even email me on it. A lot of a lot of cultures worship the sun god, but the originality of it it looked like it came out of Egypt to me. But I don't care where it originated from. Hello YouTube, Validation Boy here. As some of you may know, I happen to work in the shopping center where former voice contestant Christina Grimmie was supposedly shot. I live very close to my place of employment and pass directly in front of this building, known as the Plaza Live, several times per day. On the afternoon of June 10th, things in the area seemed pretty normal. Several teenage kids and a few parents were already out front of the building buying tickets to what would become Christina's final performance. The venue where this alleged murder-suicide took place was open to the public in 1963 and has enjoyed three separate incarnations. It was once a movie theater, then it was a play hall, and now it's a music venue. A few years ago, my friends actually rented out the building for the day and put on a charity art and music festival. Since then, the place has been fully renovated. A large section was added onto the back of the building, and the tiered flooring was ripped out to accommodate for larger audiences. Now, this venue has a pretty crappy location, and it has always struggled to generate revenue. I've often wondered why the damn place hasn't just been demolished by now. Instead, it has been given a hugely expensive renovation. Hmm. Some people say it's haunted. Spooky legends persist from back in the 1990s when this place hosted weekly showings of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The friends I used to hang with in high school were always saying they'd seen ghosts in that creepy old theater. When you really think about it, I bet that murky old place is totally housing some kind of hidden ritual chamber or something. After all, in Orlando, there are Freemason lodges everywhere. Casadega really isn't all too far away. And neither is NASA. And neither are these fucking creeps. By the looks of things, Miss Christina here has been doing a bit of dabbling in the dark arts. In this image, captured during her final show, something very strange seems to have been going on. This symbol is fucking scary. And oh, and by the way, too, I didn't mention they are three brothers. So you, we have three members of the Brotherhood. I'm not saying they're members. They're Disney. They're Disney band too. You know. So first, let's get into this sigil really quick and sigil magic. Now, the reason this is sigil magic is because this symbol now represents them. They're using it as their logo, as did Prince. So that's that's automatically how you automatically c consider it sigil magic. Now. Um, the guy goes on to say about how they knew what it meant. They knew it meant phosphorus. Um, and phosphorus, if you don't know, is uh, Lucifer. It is Lucifer is the light bringer. Um, so if the phosphorus is the, the real uh, alchemical word. And this is the symbol. And then they just enclosed it in a circle to finalize their sigil. Uh, another one you should notice too that also means phosphorus. Look at this one right here, the light bringer, Lucifer, the morning star. What's that remind you of? A church right there in their steeple. How many churches do you see that have almost that exact same look from the front? Um, the Invictus Games happened literally a month before in Orlando and connected to Disney. But look at this. I'm gonna go real close because I know I'm going long, but I gotta teach. They, the Roman Empire revived a cult in 274 AD. They revived the cult of the Sol Invictus. 
God of the sun. When Joe Biden says the soul of America, which soul is he talking about? You tell me. But look at the date. 274 AD. Watch this. Joe Biden's last birthday, 1120 of 2023. On 819, he spoke at the, at the, at the DNC. The difference is 274. 274? Yeah. Just like this. 274 AD, they was worshiping the sun. Joe Biden's last birthday, 1120, 2023, versus the day he spoke, 274. You think that's coincidence? Come on, man. So you're releasing songs that had not yet been released? Yes. And I mean, even part of the mega ritual, like all the money that's given to there, she's she's like her whole. I mean, her family's just giving, like getting hundreds of thousands of dollars. And uh, so here they are on, on Disney with Selena Gomez. So she's got connections to Disney. You had the Invictus Games, which had connections with Disney. Maybe shit like this is how she landed that long-term contract with NBC. You know. And on top of all this, one of her best friends in the industry just so happens to be Selena Gomez, who of course got her big break starring in a Disney Channel children's sitcom about the life of a sociopathic teenage black magic sorceress. Very suspect indeed. We did a little cover together a couple months ago, or like a month ago, of a guy named James Blair. Do you guys know who James Blair is? He is amazing. We're gonna do that right now. You guys ready? Can you have a sing it nice and loud? You know, I'm so tired of people walking around blind. I'm no smarter than you are. I'm probably dumber. But at least I understand what they're trying to tell me, that, hey, we're running the show here. I understand that Jesus said, I am not the ruler of this world, that Satan is, but you don't see it. See, you don't see it because you don't want to see it. Okay? Wake up. Look at the signs around you. And I don't mean the big ones. Look for the small ones because the small ones are the ones that are the, are the most telling. You don't get it, do you? You haven't woken up. And by the time that you do, and you still have time, it might not be too late. And you know what? They won't be held accountable in front of God because the, the ones that are doing this to you will not be held accountable because you were given a fair opportunity, which is your entire life. Babies and that stuff, that's totally separate. But you, adults and young adults and old adults, you've had your entire life to look around and see where the signs are and you have chosen you have chosen to accept evil you have chosen to accept stupidity you have chosen to accept it's not my problem I don't care and now that is going to be the reward that will be heaped on you when they finally close the door because you will be stupid they won't care and it's not their problem start looking at the signs and I don't mean the shit on the news, and I don't mean the crap that you hear in Scuttlebutt. Do some research. It's right in front of your face. Stop screwing around. It's right there. It's been there the whole time, your whole life. Gee, music is one of the strongest forces. How many times have you sang songs and you don't even know what the fuck it means? But you still sing it. Ouija boards, they seek guidance and think there's a secret to be enlightened Little do they know what they just invited A demonic presence has just resided In the days of Noah, all kinds of hybrids have portrayed the earth But most were silenced, wiped out by the flood All these tyrants, bloodlines polluted by these ancient giants The men of renowned heroes of old have now returned Let the truth be told, they wear new disguises, thought and ISIS Are now aliens come to invite us and guide us. The fruit is ripened, it's so inviting Evolved to a god enlightened And don't be frightened, but I must ask why There are did seem aligned with Lucifer's lies This song serves as a warning to anyone searching Demonic minions are lurking and virtually everywhere